Welcome to the YouTube channel for my new book, Seed of Israel, DNA Guide to Tracing Your Jewish Ancestry, available on Amazon in ebook and paperback versions. Links to order your copies are below. And also be sure to hit that subscribe button to get more videos like this. In this video, I want to talk about um, a period in Jewish history that I don't really believe has, has really discussed that much, actually, and, and I'm not sure a lot of people know about it. Um, but it's the um, Jewish revolt against Heraclius, the uh, emperor of the Byzantine Empire. And, uh, and I also want to uh, propose a, a possible uh, later um, migration from Judea to Italy for the Jews who eventually became the Ashkenazim uh, around 900 years ago, who eventually settled in the Rhineland, Rhineland Fats, Rhineland Palatinate in Northern France and, and Germany, and then eventually made their way to Central and Eastern Europe, the Ashkenazi Jews. So what if the Ashkenazi Jews, uh, the Jews who became the Ashkenazi Jews, uh, left the land of Israel much later? Um, and what if they were the consisted of the the Jewish rebels who revolted against uh, Heraclius um, during the Byzantine rule? Um, these Jews rebelled against Heraclius. Uh, this would have been in the, around the six in the six hundred CE. Um, these uh, Jews left Israel, and um, some of them went south. It's been documented some of them went south to Egypt, but some of them also went north. Well, if they went north, where, would, where did they go? Well, maybe they ended up in the uh, Lombardy province of northern Italy. Uh, the Lombards um, kind of invaded northern Italy, and um, they, were, uh, they were not friends with the Justinian of the, the Byzantine Empire. And they, the Lombards were also known for being, at that time, for being tolerant of Jews, welcoming Jews, whereas the Byzantine Empire under Justinian was known to be very intolerant of the Jews. So maybe they ended up in the Lombardy province, and then maybe when they ended up in, in this kingdom of Lomb Lombardy, um, the Lomb Lombards, which is, I think means long beards, um, they, maybe these, uh, these Middle Eastern Jewish men who had fled uh, following the Jewish revolt against Heraclius, Heraclius. well, maybe they married um, Italian convert wives from Northern Italy. And, you know, I've done a lot of research on gen Jewish genetics and DNA, and uh, it's possible that, you know, Ashkenazi Jews are certainly, you know, there's a lot of... Um, I think evidence out there that we're sort of like a Southern European, Levantine, Middle Eastern mix. Um, a lot of Middle Eastern, a lot of Mediterranean. And um, possibly that, you know, Italian is from Northern Italy. So it could have been like kind of a Levantine, uh, Northern, Northern Italian admixture. So, you know, as opposed to some of you know the earlier Jewish migrations to southern Italy to Rome um, in earlier periods you know when Jews were taken as slaves on slave ships to Rome by you know after the Jewish Roman Wars um, the such as the you know the fall of fall of Jerusalem in 70 CE the Bar Kokhba revolt in 135 CE and then there were earlier Jewish communities all spread all over the Mediterranean diaspora going back to Hellenistic times to Alexander the Great, um, and even earlier during biblical times, um, and these were you know pretty established Jewish communities, including in Rome. But um, but uh, so basically, you know, it would have been Jewish warriors exiled after rebelling against the Byzantines, who ended up in the Lombardy region uh, of northern Italy and took Italian wives. And so again, this is it's just the theory of mine. I have you know it's. Uh, um, just kind of putting it out there so it's, I'm not saying it definitely happened this way but um, so 
let's talk a little bit. What, 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 so let's just talk about the revolt, Jewish revolt against Heraclius first. So what was that? Okay. So this is from the Jewish virtual library. In the beginning of the seventh century, Persia attempted once again to conquer the Fertile Crescent and hoped to defeat the Byzantine Empire. The Jews of Judea, hoping for a better deal than they had with the Byzantines, fought on the side of the Persians. In 611 CE, Persia conquered Syria and Judea. The army entered Jerusalem with the Jews cheering. They and the Jews, uh, they and the Jews slaughtered from 60,000 to 90,000 Christians. They also destroyed the Holy Sepulchre built by Helena. Uh, to their dismay, the Jews discovered that the Persians were even crueler and harder to live with than the Christians. Had, had been. They immediately tried to work out a deal with the Byzantine Empire Emperor Heraclius to help him retake the Holy Land. The Emperor agreed to the term set by the Jews, and in 629 CE, after a bloody war, the Byzantines succeeded in winning back all the territory which the Persians had conquered 18 years earlier. Both countries were exhausted financially by the wars. Neither was in a very good condition, but Judea was even in worse shape because so much of the fighting had taken place within her borders. When Heraclius gained control of Judea, the Jews went to him reminding him of his promises. Heraclius, assured by the Christian clergy that it was God's will and that a week of fasting would atone for any possible sins, ordered all Jews killed and all synagogues destroyed. The, the Jews who didn't get caught and slaughtered at once fled to Egypt and other points north or south, which was I was stating earlier. Well, where, where are those points north that the Jews possibly fled to? And so it says Heraclius ordered forced conversion for all Jews in the Byzantine Empire, but the order was carried out all, only in Carthage, which is uh, in modern day uh, Tunisia, um, in North Africa. Um, and it says that Heraclius asked the king of the Franks to kill all the Jews, but he, re he refused. It looked like the end of Judaism in Judea. However, things were going on in the Arabian Desert, which within seven years would change the picture of the Near East and the whole world. Now that decree to, you know, that ask, uh, asking the, uh, you know, Frankish ruler to, you know, kill all the Jews, um, that might be more mythology than, than actual reality. Um, although it could have been. So, you know, it would just, it just goes to, sh to went to show that, you know, Anywhere in Byzantine, Jews were not safe anywhere in Byzantine Empire, including in the in the Frankish lands. Um, so, yeah, so uh, there actually were, you know, quite a bit of um, of Jews who, you know, who fled, who fled to uh, to the mountains or to Egypt. And again, maybe possibly po points north, possibly to the Lom um, Lombardy area. Um, it uh, actually, uh, the territory was said to actually, uh, oh, by the way, this was, uh, this revolt was against Heraclius as part of the Byzantine Sassanian War, Sassanian War of 602 to 628. Um, it's the, considered the last Jewish, serious Jewish attempt for gaining autonomy in uh, what uh, was called Palestina Prima prior to, prior to modern times. So, but the territory is said to have a substantial indigenous Jewish population at this time. Uh, it says James Parks estimates that if 10% of the Jewish population joined the revolt and the figure of 20,000 rebels is correct, then 200,000 Jews were living in the territory at the time. Likewise, Michael Avi Yona uses the fig used the figure of Jewish combatants to arrive at an estimate of the total Jewish population. He gives a figure of 150,000 to 200,000 um, Jews li living in 43 Jewish settlements. Um, so, yeah, so uh, it says that. Uh, in 1950, Israel Cohen gave an estimate of double that, that value, estimating that between 300 and 400,000 400, Jews were in the land. More recently, Moshe Gill has postulated that the combined Jewish and Samaritan population was a majority in the early 7th century. Okay, so I just want to repeat that. You know, people think that 
A lot of people think maybe that the Jews were just cleared from the land for 2,000 years in exile um, after the Romans, but no, there were indigenous Jews and Samaritans living on the land of Israel, uh, forming a uh, majority of the people, according to uh, Moshe Gill, uh, of the population in the land of Israel in the early 7th century. So the key point is that, um, you know, if Ashkenazi Jews descend from Jewish rebels who fled Israel following the Jewish revolt against Heracles in the 600s CE, then that would put our exile at around 1,300 years, not 2,000. So, um, and again, I'm just putting this out there just from my own genetics and DNA studies that I think that possibly the best explanation for why many Ashkenazi Jews plot in Crete and the Greek island of Crete in PCA is uh, possibly Levantine Middle Eastern Jews um, marrying Northern Italian converts. And it possibly could have happened around this period uh, in the Lombardy, in the safe haven of the Lom Kingdom of Lombardy. Um, so what was the, the kingdom of uh, the kingdom of the Lombards? Well, the kingdom of the Lombards, there was an early medieval state established by the Lombards, who were a Germanic people, on the Italian peninsula in the latter part of the 6th century. So, the capital of the kingdom and the center of its political life was Pavia, in the modern northern Italian region of Lombardy. And it says here that the Lombard invasion of Italy was opposed by the Byzantine Empire, which can trade which retained control of much of the peninsula until the mid 8th century. So for most of the kingdom's history, the Byzantine rule of Exarchate, Exarchate of Ravenna and Duchy of Rome separated the Northern Lombard duchies, blah, 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 blah. So, um, so again, you know, this kingdom of Lombards surrounded by, you know, the Byzantine empire, which was, you know, the Franks, other areas, not not friend, friendly to the Jews. Lombardi, Lombardis, at that time, they were friendly to the Jews. So here's a website, an Italian family history.com on Jewish history in Italy. And it says, when Italy came into the possession of the Lombards, Jews lived in peace in the territories under their rule. Even after the Lombards embraced Catholicism, Jews were not persecuted. Pope Gregory I treated them with much consideration. Under succeeding popes, the condition of the Jews did not grow worse. And the same was the case in the small, several smaller states into which Italy was divided. So, yeah, evidence that, you know, that the Lombards were, could have been a place where these uh, refugees from the, you know, these, these rebels, these Jewish warriors, Following the you know revolt against Heraclius, they possibly some of them possibly fled north. So, um, yeah, here's another uh, article on the history of the Jews in Italy, uh, basically saying the same thing that um, that they lived in, the Lombards passed no exceptional laws relative to the Jews, even after the Lombards embraced Catholicism. The condition of the Jews was always favorable because the popes at that time not only did not persecute them, but guaranteed them more or less protection. So, again, they were very tolerant, whereas the Byzantine was not of the Jews. So, you know, history has shown that Jews will go to areas that are more tolerant. That's why when, you know, Germany and France in the Middle Ages became intolerant, towards the Jews and expelled us multiple times and then welcomed us back and then expelled us. Well, we eventually went to the more tolerant land, uh, Slavic lands, you know, to Pol Poland, Poland and Lithuania, these kinds of places when they were tolerant and they welcomed the Jews. So we, we've always gone to places. It's why we, we came to America from <laughs> Eastern Europe, you know? So, you know, we always go to places that are, that tolerate us and that welcome us. And so the Lombardy at that time, Lombard, Kingdom of Lombard was one of those places, and the Byzantine Empire was not. So, yeah. 
So yeah, so I just want that's that's all I wanted to really say. I just want to put it out there, just want to something I've learned about. I didn't really know about this that Jews were, you know, possibly along with Samaritans, possibly a majority of the population all the way up until the seventh century CE. Um, when they fought Her Heraclius, revolted, and that uh, you know that this possibly some possibly some of them, or maybe you know possibly it was from other parts of Italy, but they came up to the uh, kingdom of the Lombards, and the Lombards were you know very tolerant, and they and they welcomed them. So you know, could our Italian admixture come from that part of northern Italy at that time period? You know, maybe six hundred to eight hundred CE. Possibly. Anyway, just want to put it out there. Thanks for watching.